Hi, I'm Old Sneelock. Welcome to another episode of Old Sneelock's Workshop. I got a quick one here. It's a an annoying thing, not a terrible thing, but an annoying thing. I have a broom that likes to separate from its handle. Now, wood threads are actually been around a long, long time, and they typically hold up pretty well. This one has about a quarter of a thread left on it. And this is a uh, broom that came from the old bookstore that we owned, and we closed the bookstore in 1994, so it's a rather old broom. And I use it out in the garage to sweep out the the pine needles and everything that's carried in on the car tires. And I like using it because it's a nice soft bristle brush and it does a really good job on those little pine needles that want to get caught in every imperfection in the floor. This will reach down in, dig them out, take them out, no problem. But having the head come loose on it all the time means that I spend an inordinate amount of time picking the head up and putting it back on the handle. Okay, enough's enough. We're just gonna Drill this and put a screw through the handle and that'll lock it together. No more worries. Now, some people may say, well, you should get a new handle. Uh, you should rethread the handle. Rethreading the handle would be cool. But I don't have the die to do that. And I really don't want to spend the time making the die when I have all the other projects going on in the shop already. A screw through the handle. That'll take care of the problem. Fixed and done. All in one pass. And that's the goal, fixed and done. Because the handle is kind of hard, I think it's actually hickory. Uh, doesn't like having screws driven through it, it tends to split. So I'm gonna pre-drill. Also, I don't wanna put a check in this head and, and cause it to split either. Now to make sure I go through and catch the handle and the broom head, I want to come at it like this so that the angle is taking the screw through the thickest part of this, through the handle, and then back out into the wood. Perfect. Right through the heaviest part. It goes in here and comes out there. Now I've read the postings where everybody says, oh, don't use a drill bit in an impact driver. This drill bit is set up to be for an impact driver. Uh, it works really well. The impact driver, if you don't let it hammer on things, it does fine, and most of the time it's got plenty of power to push a small drill bit. The kit only goes up to quarter inch, and that's all I really need. I just drive the screw through, and we're done. There. The screw is long enough to pass through the handle and back into the wood on the other side, but it doesn't stick out. No, it should work. Success. Another job done. So when the goal is to get the job done and do what you need to do and go on back to work, something like this is a good idea. If you have any suggestions for a new video, questions about today's video, or any of the other videos on the channel, just drop a note in the comments. You know I read them all. Thanks for watching.
This video is not to be viewed by anyone under the age of 13 in the U.S. or 16 in the European Union without the express written permission of the parents or legal guardians of the underage person. Such written permission must be on file at the local government entity in charge of enforcing the rules and regulations established by the FTC. Anyone violating these terms is admitting by default that they hold harmless the owners and operators of this channel. Any and all questions should be addressed to your local branch of the FTC.